of ABC Sport, recognized around the world as the leader in sports television. I'm Jim Lampley in our New York studio, just in case you were back, that you're looking at right now. And camera two sort of takes a general shot of me or the, the set here, or, or big sign, uh, you know, shots of our sign or whatever. And right next to camera two was Al there, holding up some cue cards and notes and uh, reminding me of what's coming up. Now we'll go over to camera one over here. And uh, there's Willis on camera one here. Willis is sort of on my right here, and he's taking shots of my guest uh, or general shots of the audience or whatever angle we want Willis to get, he comes up with it, right? Right. Whatever Gary missed on two, Willis gets on one. <laughs> now, we also have a third camera back here. There's Bob on camera three. And camera three is, is principally my camera during an interview. It's taking the picture of me while I'm asking the guest a question, but it also takes audience shots or anything else we need. Right, Bob? Right. Now... <laughs> One thing that's kind of fun is uh, most people don't realize that just four or five steps away from me are people helping me out during the course of an interview, during the course of a show. And I think we should go meet these people. First, this is Al, who's our stage manager, looking at life through rose-colored glasses. <laughs> and Al is on a headset right there, and he's talking to the director, who's up in the control room. And Al is getting time cues, telling me how much time we have. How much time do we have? Four minutes. We have four minutes. And this is what he do, does during the show. He tells me what, how much time is left, and he's sort of in charge of all the technical elements here on the floor of our show. Right here is Kevin, and Kevin uh, holds cue cards and writes cue cards and reminds me of different things. Kevin's cue card says, this is the first time Michael Young has ever spoken to me. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. Embarrass me. Why, why not? <laughs> and right here next to Kevin is Bert Dubrow, who is our studio producer, and Bert is in charge of making sure the audience is ready for the show and knows what's coming up and making sure the content of a show is going correctly and everything in the studio. Right, Bert? Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Bright fellow. <laughs> now, we have a fourth camera, which is a handheld or mini camera. It's those ones that you see the guys, you know, carrying on the sidelines at a football game, or you see the news reporters using. And Jeff is our mini cam operator, and he's either down here on the side taking a picture of the audience or up in the balcony taking a picture of the audience. But today, we put him up in the control room. So we're going to switch up to camera four, and now you are looking at the camera, uh, you're looking at the control room live as they are directing the show. Now that's our director's head right there. That's Don King. Hello, Don. <laughs> Don is the director of the show, and he's actually directing the show as we're watching him there. And he's looking at all of those monitors and clocks and dials and everything. You can see me right there in the center waving my hands. <laughs> and all of those monitors are the output of these four cameras, plus any slides that we're going to look at, or pictures, or, or videotape. And he can take a look at all of it and decide what he wants to use. And what he wants to use goes up on that big monitor right on the right side of the clock. That's the line monitor, what you're seeing over the air. Now, next to Don, sitting down uh, to his left, is Barry, who is our technical director. And he's got all those switches and dials. It looks like he's flying an airplane. But he's making the technical choices that Don, the director, tells him he wants yes, to do. As a matter of fact, let's do a little demstration. Uh, Don, if you would tell him to dissolve from camera one to two, okay? Camera to dissolve two and dissolve two. See? That was a dis dissolve from one to two, and it went very slowly, right? Now, a take is when we cut real quickly from, like, one camera to the other. Don, could you show that? Open it. Ready, two. Take two. Okay? See that? And Barry punches up all those buttons. Now, sitting next to Barry, to his left, is our lighting director and designer, Deke. There's Deke. Hello, Deke. <laughs> and Deke is in charge of setting up the lights and designing how we'll uh, see the set and making the lights twinkle and all that stuff, or, and making sure that you can see me. Right, Deke? Show us what you do. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, so you can see why I have to be very nice to Deke. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll never see this show. Anyway. Now, way over to the right of our director and all those folks in the control room is our audio room. And there's Fran, our audio person. You can't say audio man anymore, right? And Fran is in charge of the audio. She is in a soundproof booth there behind glass so that she can hear the sound without people's talking and everything getting in her way. But she can still see Don, right, Fran? Right. You can see Don and she can see everything that's going on in the control room. Now, if we swing back into the control room a little bit more, there is Julian. Hello, Julian. <laughs> All right. Julian's losing his hair over this show. <laughs> and uh, he'll probably, <laughs> probably hit me later, but no. Nah. <laughs> nah. The reason I make that comment is it looks like Julian is very relaxed, but he has a very important job. He's in charge of... <laughs> He's in charge of timing the show, and he's keeping the director w ready uh, 
giving him all sorts of notes, telling him what's coming up, and generally reminding him of what's about to happen or what I'm supposed to say <laughs> or not say. Now, behind Julian and Don, our director, if we swing back a little bit, we'll see Laura Schrock. There's Laura. And Laura is our producer. Girls, take note, a female producer there. Now, she here. Yeah. <laughs> and I should point out also that next to Marsha, you can, I mean, next to Laura, you can't see Marsha, but she's uh, Laura's assistant there, and she's helping Laura out. And what they're doing is they're watching the time, and if we're running long, they cut things out of the show, and then they tell me about it and say, speed things up. Laura also is watching the content of the show, and she's overseeing the whole operation. So, uh, Laura, how are we doing so far? It's going fine. How much time do we have, Julian? 15 seconds. Could you wrap them up? Wrap them up. Ready, one, take one. Okay. <laughs> Want to wrap it up, okay. Okay, well, that's a good cue, I like that. Anyway, for all of those people that I've, uh, I've showed you just now, there are at least four other people here in the studio, and then we've got an office staff of about 20 people who are working very hard on next week's show, booking the guests and getting everything prepared. So there's a lot of people behind the scenes, and I think we should give them all a round of applause, right? Okay, stay with us, because after this, we're going to be talking with Rex Smith. See you in a minute. This is all four. This is all four. Ready, announce. Announce. Kids are people, too. We'll return after these messages. And same black audio.